following the process that you described, will that help me eliminate all the mistakes and the typographical errors? Well, again, writing is a process, and the last part of the process is editing and proofreading. So I don't think any writer is going to get it 100% right on the first draft. Uh, in fact, I consider my first draft for my eyes only. I will not send something to a client or to a newspaper or magazine if I'm writing for newspapers or magazines or a client if I'm doing corporate writing. I don't send them my first draft, probably don't send them my second draft. The third draft goes out and is considered, here's the good first draft. So you need to find ways to correct any mistakes in your document. It's great if you can get a second set of eyes to look at it. Uh, print your document where possible. I know we're trying to save the environment and not print as much. Um, so read your document out loud. There's something about reading a document on, on the computer screen that you tend to gloss over mistakes. Reading it out loud slows you down and helps you correct mistakes. If you're doing promotional writing and you're going to do a direct mail piece, say to a thousand people or, or more, can you get 10 people that represent your target audience to read it first and to give you feedback as well? Mm -hmm. You know, take any feedback under advisement and then make revisions as you think may be appropriate. And the other thing is, you know, if it's really important that the document be absolutely technically correct, hire an editor. Right. You know, these people are paid to edit and proofread, but you want to get it into as good a shape as possible before you do that. One of the things you also say, which I kind of found a little bit surprising, and I'm sure you got a good reason for it, is never use ASAP in writing as soon as possible. Why is that? Well, if you sent me an email and said, Paul, I want to talk to you about the author's show, or can you get back to me ASAP? You, you have a specific date in mind. You know, if you sent me that on Wednesday, maybe you're hoping to hear from me on Thursday. Now, if I get it and I read ASAP, I'm thinking as soon as possible for me. Now, I may have some deadlines and I could be busy with something. I go, okay, I could get back to you on Friday. And suddenly maybe that's too late, you know. So instead, if you send something on Wednesday and you want to hear from me on Thursday, say I need to hear from you Thursday by noon or Thursday by 3 p.m., be as specific as possible. So when you use things like ASAP, it's open to interpretation. Right. So if you want to hear from me by Tuesday at noon, let me know that. Just say so. So in other words, be direct and be straight to the point and make everybody's be, life easier. That's correct. The clearer you are, the more direct you are, the more likely it is you're going to get the feedback you want when you want it or the results you want when you want it. And the other thing is, if you say, I'd like to talk to you uh, by the end of day Thursday, well, if it's the end of day Thursday and I haven't got back to you, then you know you need to follow up, right? either by phone or by email, whatever. If you just said ASAP and I haven't got back to you by the end of day Thursday, you're thinking, well, did Paul get it? Is he calling mm -hmm. me? You know, did he think Friday? So you're actually doing yourself and the reader a favor by being as clear as and direct as possible. That's certainly good advice. Now, last question, Paul, and probably the most important here. Where can we find your book, Harness the Business Writing Process? Well, Harness the Business Writing Process, which I use for a business writing course I teach for the University of Toronto, is available through Amazon.com, uh, through Chapters, uh, Chapters Indigo in Canada, and through all the major online uh, retailers. But if people want to read more about the book, and click on links to where they can buy it, they can come to my website, www.paullima.com, www.paullima.com, and then they'll see a link to books, and then they can read about my books there, and they can click on links to the various bookstores. It's available in print and as a PDF as well, so if people want to just buy a book they can download to the computer and save on printing costs and shipping costs, then they can get the PDF as well. Okay, great. Uh, Paul, thank you so very much for being on the show today. This was really great information. for, and, and we all know that all of us need to write some, some business content at some point or another. So great advice. Thank you so very much. Great. Thanks for having me.